Liberalism has been a major trend in Canadian politics since the late 18th century. Canada has the same features of other liberal democracies in the Western democratic political tradition. This article gives an overview of liberalism in Canada. It includes a brief history of liberal parties with substantial representation in Parliament. Canadian liberalism is different from the American use of the term, as it contains ideas such as support for economic liberalism. <laughs> liberalism in Canadian history Historically, Canada has had two liberal phases. Prior to the 1960s, Canadian politics were classically liberal, i.e., there was a focus on individual liberty, representative government, and free markets. This brand of liberalism can be traced to the arrival in Canada of the United Empire Loyalists and the enactment of the Constitutional Act of 1791. The Constitutional Act established representative government through the elected assemblies of Upper and Lower Canada. While the Loyalists were faithful to British institutions and opposed to American republicanism, they were committed to North American ideals of individual liberty and representative government. This brand of liberalism was prominent though the liberal government of Wilfrid Laurier, which advocated such policies as free trade with the United States, and beyond. The second liberalism began, roughly, in the 1960s with the election of Lester B. Pearson as leader of the Liberal Party of Canada and can be traced through the politics of Pierre Trudeau, Jean Chrétien, and Paul Martin. This liberalism is what is properly called in a global context social liberalism, or what contemporary North American use of the word signifies as liberalism, liberal democracy, social justice, social progressivism, third way, multiculturalism, diplomacy in foreign policy, and a regulated free market economy During the Trudeau era the liberals arguably supported a mixed economy. In this second sense, the Liberal Party of Canada is presently one of the more liberal political parties in the Americas. By contrast, prior to the 1960s, the Liberal Party was one of the most liberal parties in the world in the first sense. There is argued to be a third phase of liberalism emerging that is centered on a more sustainable form of politics. The argument is that action is needed to ensure that the environment, economy, and social elements of society will function not only in the short term, but long term as well. If action is not taken on all of these pressing issues then it can cause a direct threat to our freedoms. This emerging new liberalism is centered on an ideal of timeless freedom which seeks to preserve the freedom of future generations through proactive action today. This would extend both positive and negative rights and responsibilities to future generations. <laughs> <laughs> Liberal parties Liberal parties developed in both the French and English-speaking parts of Canada, and led to the formation of the Liberal Party of Canada. Liberal parties exist on a provincial level, but while they mostly share similar ideologies, not all provincial parties are officially affiliated with the federal party. In Canada, a capital L Liberal refers to the policies and ideas of the Liberal Party of Canada, Parti Libéral du Canada member LI, the most frequent governing party of Canada for the last century and one of the largest Liberal parties around the world. The Quebec Liberal Party Parti Libéral du Québec combines liberalism with more conservative ideas. Only federal parties are included in the following timeline. The sign indicates a reference to another party in that scheme. For inclusion in this scheme, it isn't necessary for parties to have explicitly labeled themselves as a liberal party. Topic timeline. Topic Canadian Party, Patriot Party, Red Party. 1806, Liberals in the Francophone part of Canada formed the Canadian Party Parti 1826, the party is renamed Patriot Party Parti Patriot and is led by Louis Joseph Papineau 1848, the party is further reorganized into the Red Party Parti Rouge. 1867, the PR merged into the present-day Liberal Party of Canada. Reform Party. 1841, the Upper Canada Reform Party is formed 1855, radical members formed the Clear Grits
1867, the Reform Party merged into Liberal Party of Canada. Topic: <laughs> Clear Grits Liberal Party of Canada. 1855 Radical members of the Reform Party formed the Clear Grits. 1867 The Clear Grits merged with the Reform Party, the Red Party, and provincial Liberal parties into the present day Liberal Party of Canada. <laughs> Current status In addition to the federal party, each province and the Yukon Territory has its own Liberal Party. However those in British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario and Quebec are no longer affiliated with the Federal Party. The British Columbia Liberal Party and Saskatchewan Liberal Party however are not in fact a small L Liberal Parties, but are officially a centre-right provincial Conservative Parties though many describe the party's voting base as a coalition of federal conservatives and liberals. Under their system of consensus government, political parties are not recognized in the territories of Nunavut and Northwest Territories. However, there are plans to re-establish a Northwest Territories Liberal Party in time for the next election. <laughs> <laughs> Liberal leaders <laughs> Party Patriot Louis Joseph Papineau. Topic: <inaudible> Clear Grits. George Brown. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Party Rouge. Antoine Aimé Dorian. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Liberal Party of Canada. Alexander Mackenzie Edward Blake Wilfrid Laurier Daniel Duncan Mackenzie William Lyon Mackenzie King Louis Street. Laurent Lester Bowles Pearson Pierre Elliott Trudeau John Napier Turner Jean Chrétien Paul Martin Bill Graham Stéphane Dion Michael Ignatieff Bob Ray Justin Trudeau Topic Prominent Liberals Topic Federal Henri Barassa Maxime Raymond Ralph Goodale Alan McEachin Paul Joseph James Martin John Nunziata Ken Dryden Thomas Creerer Sheila Copps Herb Gray John Manley Paul Hellyer Scott Brisson Martin Cushon Dennis Kader Mark Garneau Dominic LeBlanc David McGuinty Boris Wierzesnewski Carolyn Bennett Gerard Kennedy Topic <inaudible> Provincial Mitchell Hepburn Jean Lesage Robert Barassa David Peterson Dalton McGuinty Robert Giz Kathleen Wynne Christy Clark Topic <inaudible> Governor General of Canada Vincent Massey, Georges Vanier, Roméo Leblanc, Jean Sauvé Liberal thinkers Mario Bunge, Argentinian Canadian professor of philosophy. Matthew Kalkman, author of New Liberalism. Michael Ignatieff, political philosopher and former leader of the Federal Liberal Party. Will Kimlicka, Canadian liberal thinker included in contributions to liberal theory. 
Jan Narvison, Canadian political philosopher and defender of libertarianism, or classical liberalism, currently emeritus professor of philosophy, University of Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> 